Wargroves Commission uh, operates and maintains two main sites in Eritrea, uh, one in Asmara, the capital, and the site that I'm stood in today, which is Kerin, which is close to the site of the Battle of Kerin, which took place uh, in February, March 1941. Commonwealth forces fought a decisive battle against uh, Italian forces in February and March 1941 um, and it was a, it was a sizable battle uh, in the region around Kerin in, in, in the mountain uh, pass where 23,000 Italian soldiers were dug in with, with uh, mortars and heavy weapons and, and managed to completely halt the advance of the Commonwealth forces. The Commission has got quite a small team of local employees um, in Eritrea uh, who live in the villages and in the town close to both sides. We've got three here in Kerin and we've got uh, two, uh, two in Asmara. Um, and it's pretty challenging for them, um, but they do an excellent job. It's, uh, despite the, the issues with, with water and the aridity of the area and, and the sand, um, you can see that they do, they do do a fantastic job and, and keep the site in the best condition that they can. Uh, but there are many challenges here. My name is Tasbara Mukaro. And how long have you worked for the Commonwealth War Waves Commission? He's saying uh, the challenges uh, in maintaining the compound is plants, uh, of course, water. Water, of course, yeah. yeah. Simon Fletcher and I are inspecting Asmara War Cemetery, which is the smaller of our two cemeteries in Eritrea, and it's just outside the, uh, the city centre uh, in Asmara. Now, the main battle, as I uh, mentioned when I was in Kerin War Cemetery yesterday, um, was fought um, outside the Kerin Pass, and on completion of that battle, the Italian forces withdrew back to the capital, so the Kerin battle finished uh, early March. The Italian forces then surrendered to Commonwealth forces on the 1st of April and Asmara was then occupied. We've also got two Polish casualties, two Italian, uh, one French and one Ethiopian buried um, and including this chap here, uh, Aidan Abraham, um, who looking at his headstone served with the, the Italian forces. So in recent years we have had problems getting into, into Eritrea um, for a whole variety of reasons. Um, there's been some challenges here in and getting in uh, equipment and supplies and, and other things um, but we have a good um, inspection cycle now that the team get in uh, two times a year uh, make sure that the contractors here have all the equipment have the uniforms um, and they, that they're getting the guidance and and the support they need how many years you work 26 years my name is Abraham Gabriel and how many Can years has Abraham worked in? How, how many years he worked with? Can they get in? 15 years. 15 years. We are okay with the work. We look, we consider the work as if our house. So we enjoy the work. The cemetery certainly got a different feel to it than, than up at Kerin. It's the climate's certainly different here. It's two hours away, but it's much fresher. You can feel the air is has got much more moisture in it. We've also managed to um, be a little bit more consistent with our water deliveries here. We have a water tank on site, and um, the the level of potted horticulture uh, on the site has certainly improved in the last 12 months. Now we're getting more regular deliveries, and you can see it's a much greener site um, than up at Kerin.